Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and today I bring you Liminal, a game by Paul Michener that I backed in Kickstarter a little while ago. I got my hands on it last year at Dragon Meet and I just come into it. Sorry, taking me a while. But what I would like to find out is, is this book actually worth the amount of money that I had to back to get my hands on it? Welcome to the GMS Magazine on Booking Videos. I have to say that I have a very weird criterion when it's about backing projects in Kickstarter because what really grabbed me is originality and how to do new things more than anything else. So Liminal got my eye because it's a game that's based in real world England, uh, but it's a weird kind of bizarre supernatural mix with the real world kind of thing. And uh, that, that you know, that ticks an awful lot of my boxes. Um, also, I know Paul Michener from Facebook. I know that he's an absolutely fantastic writer. So, you know, I, I just had to do it. So what I'm going to do today is just to show you whether this book, actually, after paying, it's worth it. If, you know, the production has been worth the amount of money I, I paid for it. So, firstly, I need to um, pack it because it's still, you know, beautifully wrapped, I have to say. It's a hardback. Um, with a cover that is very, very evocative, I have to say. It's kind of, it's like a weird version of one of the Any Blyton's Famous Fives cover thing, you know, it, it's very evocative. And it's five seemingly youngish people um, going into this weird forest. Um, which is beautiful. Absolutely love the very minimal, uh, minimalistic design. It's, it's absolutely great. Uh, and, and behind, without giving us a, you know, blast of information, it gives us enough to, you know, allow us to find out if we're going to be interested in this game or not. It uses the back cover quite, quite nicely. As you can tell, it's a very hard hardback, very nicely bound. All full color and what it appears to be beautifully illustrated. Yes, it god damn it is. I mean, just that first illustration is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, oh my goodness, yes. Beautifully simple. Damn, that is such a clean table of contents. That's wonderful. We'll get back to this in a minute. Let's let's take a closer look to this. Love it. Absolutely love it. They definitely not spare any change in the illustrations. This is so cool. This is very cool. The layout is simple enough, one column. Um, it doesn't need to be two columns. I prefer them to be two columns, but you know, in a book this size, one column is, is enough. Uh, the text seems to be okay to read. It may take me a little bit more than, than a standard human being because of my, my dyslexia and having difficulties reading against patterned uh, backgrounds. But this is an absolute joy to behold, I have to say. Thus far, every single page has given me something beautiful to look at other than the words. Definitely a ginormously heavy tongue of beautiful, gorgeous illustrations. This is absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that bookmark. That, that is top marks. This lovely lovely detail so yeah i mean from the art direction point of view this is absolutely delightful 
really delightful. So what do we get? Let's take a closer look at the table of contents, shall we? Right, okay, so we get introduction and the hidden world up to 17 pages. That's not too bad. Character creation goes from 18 to 55. Okay, with a few sample characters. That's that's nice. That's nice. That doesn't seem like a very complicated or complex character creation amount of info, which is very good. Crews and factions. We've got 11 to 12 pages. That's nice. Game rule seems to be barely anything. 11 pages. No, that's not true. 16, 17 pages of rules. That's, that's actually pretty good. Especially considering that because this book has so many illustrations, there's going to be plenty of space around. So it's not going to be, you know, text heavy rules, which is brilliant. Loads of magic. Blessings and curses, divination, geomancy, glamour, necromancy, shape changing, world magic, and weather mongering. Love it. Supernatural beings. Not very many, mind you. Oh no, where's it? What am I talking about? Not very many. Whoa, back or hold back. From page 108 all the way to page 157. That is all right. That's all right. Chapter 6. Good amount. And then we go on to Liminal Britain, which is about 30 pages. Give or take. Good. And the rest is How to Game Master. Always welcome. And what appears to be some adventures. Chapter 9, let's let's take a look. 214. I mean every single page I'm opening is just beautiful. This is so good. damn good. Yeah. Okay, more werewolves, vampire lords, oh look at that. Police officers. This is, you know, without having read it, I can tell you now this is coming to my collection and I'm definitely going to back more of these projects because this is just, just to look at it, as far as I'm concerned, just look, just something to look at is, is worth the, the money. So um, damn, well done. Now I just need to get some time to actually read it and hopefully play it so absolutely thumbs up for the production of liminal wonderfully done paul absolutely wonderfully done congratulations thank you very much indeed for being there i uh, hope that you will get a chance to take a look at liminal and um, remember to subscribe if you have any comments please do leave them down there if you have already played this game i would love to hear what you have to say but until the next time i will talk to you very very soon Take care.